Santa Clara County to allow bigger gatherings, more businesses to reopen with new rules by Veronica Strockwiller C. CNN former 2012 Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain is receiving treatment for coronavirus at an Atlanta-area hospital, according to a statement posted to his Twitter account. Kane, a contributor for conservative media outlet Newsmax, was hospitalized Wednesday after he had development symptoms serious enough that he required hospitalization and was informed Monday that he tested positive for the virus. Mr. Kane did not require a respirator, and he is awake and alert, according to the statement released Thursday. Kane, as a co-chair of Black Voices for Trump, was one of the surrogates at President Donald Trump's June 20th rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We honestly have no idea where he contracted it. I realize people will speculate about the Tulsa rally, but Herman did a lot of traveling the past week, including to Arizona where cases are spiking. I don't think there's any way to trace this to the one specific contact that caused him to be infected. We'll never know, Dan Calabresi, who has been editor of HermanCain.com since 2012, said Thursday in a post on Kane's website. At least eight Trump advance team staffers who attended the Tulsa rally tested positive for coronavirus. After interacting with several colleagues who later tested positive, all of Trump's campaign staffers who attended his Tulsa rally quarantined the following week, CNN previously reported. CNN has reached out to the Trump campaign for comment. Armed man arrested near Canadian PM's home July 2, 2020 at 4.15 p.m. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP, said the man's truck broke down after he smashed it through two gates at 6.30 a.m. The armed suspect then proceeded on foot on the grounds of Rideau Hall, where he was rapidly contained by RCMP members who were on patrol, it said in a statement. Texas Gov. signs order mandating masks for most residents July 2, 2020 at 2.32 p.m. We know people are tired of being cooped up at home, but cases surged after Memorial Day, said Dean Seidlinger, the Oregon State Health Officer. We don't want the same thing to happen over the Independence Day holiday. Watchdog says White House is blocking Sharpie Gate report July 2, 2020 at 2.12 p.m. It's the latest turn in a saga that led the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to chastise government forecasters who contradicted the president after he posted inaccurate information about the hurricane's path across the southern United States. Hundreds of elephants die mysteriously in Botswana July 2, 2020 at 1.53 p.m. Botswana is home to 130,000 African elephants, more than any other country on the continent. The Okavango Delta, where the carcasses were found, is home to around 10% of the country's elephants, McCann said.